Who is this? Um, um, Regina, this, this is this is my maternal cousin. That's my cousin from my mother's side. Um, I must have told her about her before. Her name is Mary. Hi, hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. Same here. I apologize for my behavior. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. It's all right. It's all right. You are a woman like me. You know how it is. You know how women behave. Uh, my sister-in-law, please excuse my manners. Okay. Hey, it's okay. You're quite excused. I mean, you came to buy fuel. Um, yes. What is wrong with your car? No, I just stopped you up some oil. Oh. Mary, I hope you don't mind riding with me. So, so, so what did you say? I would like her to ride with me. Yeah, it's okay. It's cool. Okay, let me get my car. Get to bad night here. Okay. No, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Leave don't worry, it, he'll bring it. He'll bring it. You're driving behind us, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right behind you. Okay. So you now know my name is Lizzie. But you told her that I'm Mary. Who gave me Mary? Am I the mother of Jesus? Excuse me. Listen, if you don't get out from here now, I will scream and she will come out. Shh, no, don't shout. Hey, come, I'm sorry now. Eh? Baby, come. I can't sleep. So, after making love to her and she's asleep, you decided to come out here to make love to me, isn't it? No. I did not touch her, I swear. I did not touch her. Come on, you say you love me. Eh? Love is meek and forgiving. Josie, is it because I love you so much? Is it because you know that I can't resist you? That's why you're taking advantage of me. You are not. advantage of you. Hmm? Just just give me some time. I'll just do away with her. That's what you keep saying. Every time she comes here, no, I, I promise for I her, promise. I run. No, it's okay. Oh my god. Okay. It's okay. What is going on here? Um Liz, Mary had a nightmare, so I and she said she couldn't sleep, so I was trying to like help her. Oh girl, Mary. Oh. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. Okay. You're going to sleep with us on the same bed, okay? So that you won't have nightmares again. Hmm? Alright. No, it's okay. So yes. Yes, dear. Um she will sleep with us on the bed. Okay, okay, no problem. Talk to you Please come.
Irene! Irene, hurry up, we'll be late for service. Service. I say I want to go, but I have to see Mike. Can't you see him after the service? No, I won't see him now. Even God understands. Now you, Sabi. Hmm? Anyway, if I get back before your daddy asks, what do I tell him? I say use your wisdom. Tell him I want to see Mike after service. You know what your problem is? You're always doing the chasing. That way you lose your self-respect. Thank you, HOD, love department. Anyway. Don't come complaining to me afterwards. Oh, come on, I see. It's a simple thing now. Mm. I should advise you to leave God and follow my. Uh, when you have your own boyfriend, if you like, visit him only once a year. Are you going to preach to me? Even God recognizes holy courtship. So are you coming for me? By the power of your word, you made the heavens and the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the embarrassment and torture I caused you last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I just thank God that you've realized your mistake. Anyway, I've put everything behind me. I hope you know I didn't do it deliberately to hurt you. It's just that sometimes circumstances propel me to do things that are unpleasant. I agree. But I'm agreeing because I love you. And you know that. So, um... Can we go to your house? Um, please. I want to talk to you. Yeah, go ahead. I want us to go on recess for now. So that I can have time to put my acts together. <sighs> Just hear yourself talk. You're the most stupid and unreasonable woman being I've ever seen in my life. Wait, 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 Excuse wait. me! If it's that lady, will you tell her this? No, answer me! All I'm asking for is for some time for myself. Myself, okay? Okay, just yourself. So, just... so I can do away with her? Just go ahead and tell it to the birds, okay? Go ahead and tell it to them. Hey, Liz. Excuse me. favored. I must confess that you are a very, very handsome young guy. And intelligent too. <laughs> um, you know my lovely sister here? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I do. I actually asked her to bring me here because I wanted to know you. Uh, your name I already know, Joseph. Wow. Um, Brother Joseph, I want to know what your sentiments are towards my sister. Well, Pastor, my feelings towards her is greater than love. I want to marry her. Uh, sounds interesting and quite easy too. Do you have Christ in you, Brother Joseph? Because I do not want her to get herself involved with an unbeliever. You see, because uh, she's highly, highly respected in the church. 
I want you to do me a favor. Promise me something. I want you to promise me you will never disappoint her. Pastor, I promise I will not disappoint her. God is my witness. Even though sometimes she could be stubborn. No <laughs> Pastor, he has to marry me first before I'll be submissive to him. Ah, okay. You know the Bible says men should love their wives. So, I think I'll keep my love till after we get married. Eh? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> okay, oh, sorry, I asked. Let me get to hold. Sweetheart, what can I get? Okay. Give me an Irish cream. is a sin. I beg, you said supposed to be say God take time, settle down, create more. I beg all this shakarana for Michael. When you reach your house, where you start? Essie, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. please don't spoil my mood. In fact, I don't want to hear that name again. Ah. Name with everything where they talk. Irene, what's going on? I'll tell you because I trust you. And no matter what, Daddy shouldn't hear any of this. My lips are sealed. I say don't trust any man. Mm. Especially those that don't have money. They will make all the promises in the world, tell you everything you want to hear. The minute they make money, they will dump you. That is not our portion. I say leave portion. It has happened to me. Remember that day that I didn't go to service with you? I said I wanted to see Michael. Yeah. I got to Michael's house. And he treated me like a filthy rat. What? I don't understand. That's what happened. And I don't have any reason to lie. The same Michael that told Daddy that he was coming to do your introduction in no time? Exactly. And knowing all of this, why should I deceive myself? Why, why a drastic change in his behavior? I said that's how men are. Their real character comes out when they start making money. Michael? Yes. Just, just forget it, okay? Just daughter, I can see you are very busy reading your book. I guess your exams are ready now, but it's not good for you because anything done in haste is never done well. Daddy, I'm just reading my Bible. The Bible? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. That means you're getting closer to God. I hope it's not because something is chasing you out there. That is why you are reading the Bible. No, Daddy, I just, I just want to be grounded in the Word of God. Oh, to God be the glory. Amen. That's good. Yeah, I've been wanting to ask you this. I have not seen Michael of late. 
I hope not in the matter. Uh, no, I don't know. I, I guess it's fine. That's not proper. How can you talk like that about somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with? God forbid, Daddy. I will not spend the rest of my life with such a person. Don't talk like that. <laughs> now listen to me. Things happen to make things happen. You don't have to complain always. Rather, I'll advise you to turn your excuses to uses. My dear, listen to me. I do not want to invade your privacy. So, please, whatever Michael may have done to you, try and forgive him, please. Be tolerant. Daddy, just forget about Michael. I mean, the relationship has ended. There's nothing anybody can do to make us reconcile. And, and, and that's it. It's over. Okay, it's not hard and fast, my dear. It's better to have loved and lost than never to love at all. You know what I mean? You know his weak points. And I guess he knows yours too. So why don't you use your high point and systematically lift him up in his weak point? Daddy, you don't know Michael and that's why you're talking like this. He is not worth it. You lie. You lie. He's worth it. Remember, it's a woman that builds a relationship. But I can sense a gap in this your relationship. Try and bridge it. My dear. Bridge the gap. Think about it. I'll leave you to think about it. that love is like measles that we all have to go through. Love, an object in intercourse between tyrants and slaves. And my late father used to advise me, my late father used to advise me, be mindful of the kind of woman you fall in love with. wisdom of fools and the folly of the wise. Oh God. God, help me. Joseph. Joseph, you think you're smart, Abby? You are a fool. I am smarter. Regina, what do you want this time around? That's a very stupid and unreasonable question to ask me. Joseph, let me warn you. If you want to live young, stay clear of that prostitute you call Lizzie. Because the next Just time... let me be. You have the guts to come in here and ask me stupid questions. Who the hell was that guy I saw you with at Tasty's? Huh? Didn't I tell you? Did you tell yourself what? Did you tell yourself what? You liar! But I... Don't push me! Push me no box! I have every information about that guy in my past. Everything about him, I have it here. Is his name not Michael Ogona? No, Joseph. I knew it. Joseph, this is a calculated attempt to dump me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't intend to shield you, no. So, someone called me on the phone and told me you had tasted with that guy. And you believed everything the person told you about me? Joseph, you believed? I didn't want to believe him, but he called me to confirm. He said I should come over and confirm myself. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why people just mind their own business? And I know we love you. I love you. <laughs> Promise me. Promise me you will be a 
Oh my. He doesn't want to come inside. He's too embarrassed to see daddy. Tell him I'm not home. Why? I say, don't start. They just tell him I'm not home. Not, if I tell him I don't want to see him. Okay, baby. Don't, don't, don't say that. Like, just tell him I wasn't feeling well. I, I took drugs and, and I'm sleeping. Why don't you go and see him and save yourself all this trouble? No, I will not. Okay, fine. Just tell him I don't want to see him. That's a lie. It's a sin to lie. Whatever, I say. Fine, a lie! I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> no, 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 not you. Yes, I, I'll be there, okay? Yeah. Hey. So, Pyro, you think you can make a fool of me in front of your family members? No, Michael, I, I wasn't around. It wasn't. I... Planted lie, Irene. Planted lie. You were right there in the house. The truth is, you really didn't. You misinterpreted my intentions. That's all. Okay, Michael. All right, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Don't, don't do this to me now. I, I promise it won't happen again, okay? Uh, look, I'm not in the mood for that. Please, now. Sorry. Okay, okay. So. What? Am I dreaming? Um, um, uh, Regina, no, look. I, I, I can explain this. It's not what you think. Explain what? Michael! You are finished. No, Regina, please. Please, look. She has only come to ask me to take her back. Because I'd already driven out. But when I got to her house, I, I didn't see her there. Look, you can ask her. She, she, she has only come to ask me to forgive her. Please, Regina, look. You're lucky, T. Young lady, I don't know why my spirit does not move me to touch you. You heard what he said. I don't ever want to see you around him anymore. Is that clear? I'm sorry, but I don't even know who you are. How? You want to know who I am? I am his wife. And forever will I remain his wife. Whether the devil likes it or not, he doesn't have a choice. Okay, um, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean to cause any embarrassment. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Good girl. Keep it up. You are well cultured. Now get out. Thank you. Shh. You are in Regina, look, I, I'm very sorry. Don't touch me. It, it was the devil's work. Uh, but I promise you, it will never happen again, Regina. I'm Regina, the queen of spades. What I want is what I get. Hey, young man, come here and swear an oath to me.
I was disgraced today, I see. I don't understand. You will not understand because it's you! It was your fault! Me? Yes! What did I do? If you had told Michael what I asked you, asked you to tell him I would not be in this situation right now, I say. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to tell him. I didn't, I didn't want to embarrass him. But he embarrassed me and you will live to regret it, Essie. Don't talk like that. You're a Christian. Don't. Tell me what happened. <laughs> hmm? It's okay. It's all right. Tell me. Superintendent Amadu, GID. This man here? Yeah. Mm. This one? Yes. Madam, are you aware that this man and his wife attempted to kidnap one Mr. Andrew Alabo? Yes. <laughs> Officers, I think there's a mistake somewhere. Did you say his wife? His wife? This lady is sitting down here. Look at her. Right. Joseph, what are you doing with this prostitute? Excuse me, madam. I am not a prostitute. You again? Stupid little bitch. You again? Joseph, I'm disappointed in you. Officers. Yes, madam. Please, if you want to kill them, go ahead. I'm out of here. This is not the beginning. Both of them are going to carry out Sit down. Sit there. 
to school. She's at the Avenue Police Station. What's she doing there? She says she's been arrested. Arrested? My daughter? No! Why? Now go get me my car keys! Fast, fast, fast! Lied to us. Yes, sir. Sir, she, she didn't tell us she, she's, a, she's a daughter. Uh -huh, I see. It's people like you that make the public to see the police as enemies. Now, this you. Sir. As a retired commissioner of police, I'm ordering you to send these two people for the room right now. Sir, I, sir it's not our fault. The bike man made a categorical statement that wrote to both of them. That's interesting. Then both of you and the bike man will face the music. With all due respect, sir, please pardon them. I shall punish them, I promise. Just imagine. The entire accusation tantamounts to complete fabrication. Clearly woven, as it were, just to rope both of them in. They're just lavish in there for nothing. I agree with you, sir. Now I'm ordering you to charge them to the room and at the same time go there and release both of them immediately. Sergeant, yes, sir. go in there and get them out fast. Yes, sir. No, sir. Joseph, I didn't know you were such a useless and shameless man. In fact, you are a shameless idiot. You were locked up by the police with a prostitute? Yuck! Just as if I were you, I would have died of shame and disgrace. I'll make you a promise now. I'm going to dump you. And when I do that, no amount of begging can bring me back. I know my chance. I know my strength, I may be old, or so they say, but still I'm able to make the young men beg. I'm able to make them swear an oath to Regina. They say it's cruel, but I think it's smart. I'll give you money, I'll give you clothes, knock knock. I'm sure we'll see you in a minute. Thank you. All right. Hi. Hey, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you alright? You look a little bit tired. Um, I'm fine. I was actually reading a novel upstairs on my bed, Thank so you. I'm okay. So, what do I offer you? Well, we have just juice and juice, no alcohol. Actually, nothing. I should be asking you what I'll do for you, for the embarrassment I caused and for the kindness your father showed to me. Oh, please. I should be saying thank you. I mean, if you hadn't come, I, I don't know what he would have done to me. He wouldn't have touched you. <laughs> No, but really, it's okay. It's fine. So tell me, what are you drinking? For real? Yeah. Nothing. I told you, I just came to say a big thank you to your father. It's okay. I mean, he's a nice man. He's very nice. But that's how he is. So just get him. <laughs> um, Irene? Yes? Can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Would you go out on a date with me tomorrow? Please don't say no. Okay. <laughs> Good. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh, um, please. I'll, I'll do say a very big thank you to your father for me, yeah. and I'll come pick you up tomorrow. I, I will. Good day, sir.
That's a young man I saw at the police station the other day. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. How are you, my dear? Fine. I just came to say a very big thank you to you for what you did. Not at all. It's my pleasure. Right? Right. I'm very grateful, sir. Irene, why don't you get the young man some drink? Oh, no. Um, actually, she's been gracious enough to offer me that, but I had to turn it down. Okay, then. Kill at home. Thank, thank you, sir. I love your father. Your father is a very nice man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tomorrow then. Tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Um, do say hi to your sister for the other thing. Okay. <laughs> Embarrassing me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to embarrass you. Okay. Are you enjoying your food? Yes, I am. Thank you. And you? Mm -hmm. Irene? Yeah? Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Who is Essie to you? Elsa is my elder sister. Why do you ask? Nothing. It's just that she looks... She looks very... responsible. Wait, wait. Are you saying that I don't look responsible? Mm -hmm. but... No, that's not what I meant. Actually, that wasn't the question I was going to ask. But what do you want to ask? I mean, don't tell me you're shy. Are you a sissy? Sissy? Yes. Me? Yes. Well, it's me. <laughs> I'm a man. Oh. No, I'm a real man. Okay. And I mean, I am a real man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? Or about to get married? Well, Joseph, if I was married, I wouldn't be in my father's house. Yes. And if I was about to be married, I wouldn't be here with you. Very, very yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. And um, I hope you don't get offended. Ask. I want to have you. Can I have you? Can you have me? Yes, can I have you? Can you have me? On the first date? No, 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 no not that kind of hand. Not what? You, you meet me, you, you ask me to take me out on a date, and then you I... take me out on a date, and on the first date you want to have no, me. No, no, don't misunderstand that. Right? And to think that you were different. I, I... I really thought, I was hoping that you were different. I mean, I mean, I mean, into one of those cardinal sins from which another spring. <sighs> impatience, impatience. God, please, don't let her hate me. Hey, what do I do now? Regina is the cause of those problems. Yes. Yes. I'm in bondage and I want freedom. I, I should have done this thing systematically. God, please let her give me a second chance. But if she doesn't, I will never forgive Regina. Go to make a way where there seems to be no way. Love sing this, we cannot sing. Evil 
What, you expect me to stand there with you? I mean, I came to apologize over what happened yesterday. I'm sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Joseph, I'm going to ask you a straight question, and I want a straight answer. Who was that woman that insulted us at the police station? Um, actually, she's, she's a friend. I, I don't want to explain it. Please, just stop going round in circles. Go straight to the point. Who is she? Okay, I'll tell you the truth. She's my fiance. What? She takes me for a fool. I can't count the number of men she's been dating. I feel I am living in bondage with her and I want my freedom. So, what do you intend to do now? Let's forget about that now. I mean, you are the reason why I'm here now. I am prepared to make a break. Only if you can give me the chance to show my love to you. But, Joe, after all this time, I mean, why did you accept a relationship that's oppressing you? Why? I believe when the appointed time comes, nothing can stop it. You can decide my fate. No. God has set you free. Yeah, you're free already. I love you. I love you very much. I have a hundred percent love for you. And it doesn't matter if you don't love me. Yes, because I will give you 50% and I have 50% to myself. So that makes it a 50-50% gain. It's a pass, isn't it? So what happens when mine is added to it? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that makes it 100 to 50. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> Let's go inside. All right. That day was awful. Rosemary came to church late as usual. I mean, the service was already going on. As she was walking down the aisle, her heel broke and she fell. <laughs> Daddy, don't laugh. It was awful. <laughs> oh. Hey, you. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Why are you just coming? And by the way, you didn't tell anyone you were going for a night video. Daddy, I didn't go for night vigil. I went to see my friend. A friend? Yes, Daddy. If I may ask, who is this friend of yours? I want this you're wearing on your finger. <laughs> it's an engagement ring. Engagement ring? Yes, Daddy. Joseph gave it to me. Who is Joseph? Oh, uh, uh, Daddy, don't you remember the guy that was with me at the police station? Okay, the one that came the other day? Yes. I see. I hope he's not married. No, Daddy, he's not. Sure. I'm very sure. Irene, you know I'm your father. And uh, I will not mislead you. I do not want any man to come here and deceive you. By the way, what makes you think he loves you? Daddy, I can't explain it, but I, I know he loves me, and I love him so no. much. Love. What do you know about love, by the way? Love is like a ghost that everyone is talking about, but few have seen. But Daddy, he said he wants to marry me. Marry you? Just like that? Irene, do not say I did not tell you. You have to be very careful. Irene, you're not a child. You should understand what Daddy is saying. He's being protective of you. You know you're over-emotional. I'm not a baby. I know what I want. And Daddy thinks all men are like him. Why? And that's why he refused to remarry. You're looking at it from the wrong perspective. Have you ever bothered to ask him why he's refused to remarry? Why should I? He has his own life to live, and so do I. Look, I don't want anybody to interfere in my love life. Anyway, in this case, I'm in support of Daddy. What? Yes. I don't want to see you hurt again. 
You're talking like this because you, you don't know what love is. Why don't you guys just leave me alone? Let me love. Look, all I'm saying is I don't want you to make the wrong decisions because you're blinded by love. <laughs> you know what? When you fall in love, your case will be worse than mine. I'll be one time I say if one good looking guy approach you for church, you will spit for him face. What's it? Just leave me alone, please. Let me leave my life where I want it. Don't tell me your name. I'm going to cut this phone now. Joseph, are you out of your mind? This is Regina. Listen, let me warn you beforehand. If you love your life, I advise you adjust yourself. Is that a threat? Now wait a minute. What do you take me for? A fool? You're making the greatest mistake of your life. You have the guts to talk to me like that just because we are speaking on the phone? <laughs> Joseph, a man who puts his hand in the mouth of a leopard should know that his death is at hand. Just wait for me. So they say, but still I'm able to make the young men beg. I'm able to make them swear an oath to Regina. Feeling that you love me. Oh, come on, sweetie. I love you. I love you very much. And I'll continue to love you till I die. If you love me, then we'll talk now. Today is a Saturday. You're supposed to be resting. I really understand my situation. I just told you I have a very Spare important... Spare me all that, please. They told me all this. Are we talking now? We just talk now or we don't talk at okay, all? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we'll talk now. Sit down. Joseph, what's the purpose of this relationship? I don't think I understand what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you ready to marry me in the next three months? We've dated long enough to know each other, haven't we? Um, I mean, don't you think it's rather too short? No, I, I mean, don't you think we should have enough time to, to tidy things between ourselves? Meaning what? Meaning what, Joseph? Because you heard a knock on the door. You don't want her to meet me here, right? Oh, I mean, come on. You're getting the whole thing wrong. Get now. what wrong? They told me, oh, but I didn't listen. 
You want to waste my life, Joseph. You want to waste my life. I will tell you something. God will not allow it. Do you hear me? Come down. Irene, come listen. It's not. Irene. I oh, Irene. you in this condition, you know he will not find it funny. Why are the bus? Let's go upstairs and we'll talk about it, okay? I say, do me a favor. The next time Joseph comes here, don't talk to him. In fact, don't even let him because if he enters this house, I swear we break his head. It's all right. Let's go upstairs and talk about this, okay? Where your slippers? Come on, come on. service yesterday, so I'm not too sure about the time for the prayer meeting. That's what I want to ask her. Your friend? Was that not Joseph I saw just now, dropping you? Yeah, as I was coming out of to do's house, I saw him and he offered me a ride home. That's all, Daddy. I see. I say, remember that you are a Christian. Don't let the devil use you. Why? 
Daddy, did I say tell you anything? If, if she said anything, it's a lie. It's not true. Mm -hmm. She has not been happy lately. By the way, I've not been seeing her with Joseph. I hope they didn't quarrel. I don't think so, Daddy. I mean, Irene didn't tell me anything like that. Sure. I'm very sure, Daddy. I've made up my mind to fulfill your greatest desire. Regina, what could be my greatest heart desire that you've made up your mind to fulfill? I fixed our marriage for the end of the month. What? Don't tell me that's a joke. Look, look, wait, Regina, who is the man here? Is it you or me? What kind of a question is that? I thought you would jump at it. You thought I would jump at it? Why? Regina, you are not the man. I am the man. Alright? And scripturally, you are supposed to be submissive to me, not the other way around. Really? Yes, really. So after making you rich, you suddenly realize you are now the man. Isn't it? Look, Regina, you need a change of heart. Yes, because you see, that is the control center. Regina, let me remind you of one thing. I am a real man that knows the difference between his right and his left. Michael, so you have the guts to tell me you are a real man. Aren't we forgetting something here? And what could that be? When I picked you up from the gutters, you were a poor, humble cockroach. That is old story. That's history. And for all I care, you can choke in on that. Look, Regina, look, I don't know the devil that made me to take that oath that night. But let me inform you, I have crossed my heart. Really? Yes, really. That's interesting. But I have news for you. What could that be? Don't you ever think of getting married to somebody else. <laughs> Why not? The oath will kill you. I know my strength, I may be old, also they say, but still I'm able to make the young men beg. I'm able to Thank make you. them swear and hope to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I say, what did you tell Daddy? What's going on here? First daddy, now you. Why was he warning you? What was that all about? He was not warning me. He was advising me. Is that all right? Are you sure, I say? I'm very sure, Irene. Now may I go back to reading the Bible? Okay. This is Joseph's wife speaking. What? Are you still there? Are you out of your mind? Look, you should be talking to Joseph, okay, not me. And how did you even get my number? You little bitch. You better stay away from Joseph because if I catch you... Listen, let me tell you. 
The spell you had on him is now dead. Stay off because I've taken back what rightly belongs to me. Well, listen, you know, you are the old fool. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourself fighting over a man with a girl young enough to be your daughter. What the hell with you and Joseph? Please, just... What? Nothing. Nothing. How your oppressors... I say, please! Joseph and I asked him the purpose of our relationship. Joseph couldn't talk straight. He couldn't give me any answer. He was just fidgeting. I got so frustrated. I was so angry. I left. In fact, I don't want to see him anymore. Uh, is that all? No. Then that is sugar mommy. She insulted me at the police station and now she's threatening me. And she, she gives me a lot of stress, daddy. You want to know the truth? The truth is that there's no young man in his right senses that would like to get hooked up to a sugar mommy. Daddy, that is not true. Young guys now, they prefer sugar mommies. In fact, it's a tradition now. I want to let you know, they are never happy befriending sugar mommies. They don't just have a choice. And these ladies, they know about it. So what they do is they spend a lot of money, gifts. They just spoil them with gifts. Well, <clears throat> let's just hold it up there. I want to say that Joseph, the way I see him, that young man loves you. I used to see you 
bring him in and out of this compass. You think I don't see you? Daddy. <laughs> You're in love. <laughs> but I think his problem is um, he needs some time to get over this sugar mommy. Let's give him some time. Hmm? Meanwhile, I want you to go and call him for me. Tell him I want to see him. What if he refuses to come? I don't want him to think that we're begging him or we're pleading or anything. No, fine. If he says no, that means he does not love you. Simple. So I want you to go. Just let's give it a try. Go and call him for me. Eh? I don't want you to phone him. Or go physically. Okay, Daddy. Hmm? I'll just dress up and take a few things. Okay. Help 
to see how useless you are. Joseph or whatever your name is. You better don't think I'm joking with you. From this moment, henceforth, don't ever let me see you go close to Regina, my wife. <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. I've told you I have nothing to do with her. Can't you get that into your crazy head? Where's everybody? Daddy, I know you will not believe me no matter what I say. Same thing with Irene. I've gone to call Joseph to come and explain exactly what happened. But if he refuses to come, I will commit suicide in his house. What? He said. What's the meaning of this? Irene! Irene! that I've just said now. If I ever hear or see you close to her, consider yourself dead. Joseph, look, you have to follow me to my house right now. They're under the impression that I'm dating you behind Irene's back and I will not have it. Hey, hey, hey Essie, take it easy. Please. Essie, take it easy. That's not the right way to do things. Follow me to my house. Pass up, please. please, please, please Joseph, what is going on here? Regina. So you won't have the guts to show your concern for him right in my presence, Regina. Joseph. Oh, you're a big disappointment. I'm sorry, sir. But... I only asked Essie to come to see me so that I can talk to her. I had nothing to do with her. It was this idiot that caused the whole problem. standing right here is your mother. Several years ago, she made me to take an oath to my disadvantage and to her own advantage. This is what I'm saying. never to disappoint you. And if I do, let me die by accident.
Regina, you are evil. You are wicked. us all. Regina, you are the criminal that steals people's love. And I tell you, you will regret this. My daughter, please forgive me. I didn't know you were my daughter. How does that free into your relationship? advice for you all. Repent and give your life to Christ. Because life without Christ is a life of crisis. Whether you like it or not. But you still have an opportunity to give your life to Christ. God bless you all. So, You're one of those who selfishly abandons children. And you think I would have ended up in an orphanage if not for daddy. When So they say, but still not able to make the young man 